Hello everyone and welcome to the fourth video on the memory based question for SEBI phase one year 2022. So this particular video is the sixth video in our video series which is covering all the previous year paper questions for SEBI IT. And in this video again I'm going to show you the 10 questions. The answers of all these 10 questions will be shown at the end of the video. You have to grab your pen and paper, mark your answer and at the end you have to self evaluate your performance and after that I will tell you about the marking that uh, how much marks you got and then in that category how you should prepare or like what should be the like where is you, your performance is exactly standing it is poor or it is average or it is good. So at the end I will tell you the marks that you, uh, category wise that in which category you fall after your self evaluation. So if you haven't watched the other parts of this particular video series, go and watch those parts also to prepare your entire uh, previous year paper questions. And after doing them, then come to this video. You can pause the video whenever you feel like the video is going fast and you need to pause to understand and read the question. Pause the video, attempt the question and then move forward. So the first question in this particular video is related to a particular program for which you have to guess an output. You can see it is a C program and here you have to execute these two lines and then you have to give the correct answer for the output. The next question is related to the Java language package. You know that in Java there are different uh, packages. Java.lang is the language package that is there in Java. So what this particular package is uh, used for that you should know and if you know that you have to figure out which particular statement about the java.lang package is true. The next question is related to appending value to a list in python. So how you have to append the values in a particular list when it is used in python, what functions they are using, uh, what kind of arguments it takes. So you have to understand that entire flow and then you will be able to answer this particular question which involves several statements. There may be more than one statements which are correct and if that is the case you have to look for the other options that are like all of the threes are correct or not. Then the question number fourth here is asking you about the important aspect of data warehouse environment that the data is found within the data warehouse. So what kind of uh, property actually the data warehouse uh, hold uh, when it has the data? Those all things you have to take care here. Question number fifth is related to the time horizon of the data warehouse like how many uh, years can uh, the horizon can have this uh, data warehouse. So you have to give that particular idea because data warehouse is used to store the historical data as well. So for that particular thing, you have to give an idea why data warehouse is so important and uh, how long historical data it can hold. The question number sixth in this video is related to the cyber security, which is asking you to like uh, which of the following is defined as an attempt to steal, spy, damage or destroy the computer system network or the associated information. What of these is true? And this question is very easy. They are just using different keywords to make you in a confusion. But trust me, the question is very easy. If you know the basic concepts, you will be able to do it. Question number 37 is related to the shell script and you have to tell by what what is the first thing that happens in the shell so that it begins its statement. OK, this is again a very easy question, but yet a static and a factual question. Question number 38 is related to the space complexity of a program where you need to reverse a stack re using the recursive method approach. And for that, you are having these five options out of this. You have to choose the correct one. The ninth question in this particular video is related to the Huffman coding in the tree where the data always occur at what location and you have to choose the correct location in the tree where the data actually occur. The question number 40 is going to give you a kind of a statement, a situation and then you have to check which of the methods can be used to solve the problem like dynamic programming, greedy recursion or recursion and dynamic programming or any of these can be used. So you have to understand what the question demands and then you have to answer according to that. So I hope you guys have marked your answers. If you feel like you need to read any question, pause the video, go back to that particular question and then mark your answer. And now check your entire 10 questions. Give yourself an evaluation plus one for a, a correct attempt and one by four for the negative attempt. That is 0.25. You have to give yourself minus two one minus 2.5 when you are doing a wrong answer. If you are having a score between one to five, you are losing your game and you have to 
back up yourself with the concepts that are being asked in the particular video also if you are in the range of six or seven you are doing average and trust me that is not going to help you in the actual exam you need to back up here also but yes you need only revision it is not that you are lacking some most of the conceptual understanding if you are anywhere above eight that is eight nine ten anywhere in this range then that particular thing is very good but you need to take care of your negative attempt wherever you are going wrong so this was all about my side for this particular video if you like this video and it was useful for you please do hit the like button also subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any update from our side prepare 50 percent faster with high Zambi by checking out our course on the www.ixambi.com website you can go there and check out our sbit demo course and see what our offerings are and how we are in client towards the exam on top of that if you are still having any doubts you can mention that in the comment section or you can reach out to us at hellotaxambi.com or on the number that is flashed on the screen so that was all from my side see you in the next video keep practicing stay updated